Ron Scott here. I just received a new Manfrotto Digital Director and have some tips on using it. This video is not meant to be a comprehensive review. You can find many of those videos online. What I do want to do is address a glaring shortcoming in video mode and offer a couple of workarounds. And I will show you how I resolved a couple of issues when shooting stills. I'm a veteran still photographer of nearly 50 years and started shooting video about a decade ago. Since I am by definition old school, I still shoot stills with my DSLR held tight to my eye and don't really use Live View all that much. However, when shooting video, Live View is a must with my Nikon D800, and using an external monitor is a real help. My first monitor was a small HD DP4, which I've had for about three years. It works well, but its screen is not much bigger than the one on the back of the DSLR. I held off on getting a larger monitor because of the cost. When the Digital Director came along at just under $300, and since I already had an iPad, I thought this might be a good solution. The good news is that it works quite well with my D800, giving me a bright screen and full camera control, something the DP4 and other monitor-only solutions do not. The bad news is that it does not offer a preview of the video once you have shot it. In still modes, it does allow the preview of images and downloads to the iPad and many other sharing options. Although disappointed, I did come up with a couple of workarounds. If you drop out of Live View, you can then have manual control from the camera and preview on the DSLR's LCD screen. The same is true if you have an external monitor like the DP4 connected via an HDMI cable. Another option is just to shut off the camera, pull the SD card and slip it into a laptop, preview your takes. And finally, you can just unplug the USB cable from the digital director, plug it into your laptop and access your files that way. None of these solutions are ideal and no substitute for actual playback preview on the digital director. Maybe Manfrotto can figure out how to do that and add that feature at a future date. As I said, I may not use the digital director for shooting stills as often, but I did want to see how that would work. Everything worked as expected, but two issues cropped up. When I went to preview the shots, the images displayed were very jaggy and low resolution. The solution to that was to set the camera to shoot both RAW and JPEG images. I had set it to shoot just RAW, and that caused very low resolution images, 160 by 120 pixels, to be downloaded to the digital director. The other thing that stumped me was that none of the images would download to the iPad. The solution was to click on the Share icon in the preview, select Share from the menu, and then click Save. Now the images would appear in the Photos app on the iPad, although strangely not in the dedicated digital director folder, but in the camera roll folder. So there you have it. In conclusion, I do like the digital director and plan to use it for my video shoots and occasionally for my stills as well. I'm Ron Scott, and if you found this video useful, please like and share.